So our little males here, they, they do incubate at least 20% of the time. So they'll let, they'll let the female off the hook for at least 20% of the time, and she will go and forage and then come back. But the rest of the time, he's bringing food back to her. When she's sitting on the nest, he's bringing food back to her and the chicks. You know, never mind feeding himself as well. So and he has to find the exactly appropriate size fish for that age of chick. We have, you know, in the, in the right species. And also, if you're looking at, if yep. you're up in the air, and you're looking down in the water, and you're looking at the top side of the fish, you can see how narrow they are, but you can't see how deep-chested they might be. So sometimes they'll bring in a fish that's a little too deep to fit into the mouth of a chick. And so that's that's an inappropriate. Okay, so imagine you're out there fishing that, and you're bringing in fish. Okay, you've taken a long time just to find the right species, right size, and all that. You've been scouring. You might have gone all the way down to Crab Cove. You might have been to Little Harbor up in Oakland to bring fish back. Now you got to find your kid in 10 acres. There's not where you left them. How do they find them? Anybody know? So what we do out here is we collect dropped fish, the fish that are being brought in but they don't get consumed. And then also we collect is the fecal material that's been dropped by chicks. So how do we do that? 182 or 103. There's two little chicks there. Which one? There's a marker and it says 182 or 1.